I'm Insomniac and this is Starbucks Costa Rica. Okay, so Starbucks Costa Rica, that is what we are looking at today. I will give you a closer look at the bag here on camera. It is definitely a colorful, very vibrant package here. Pretty cool looking. There you go. Okay, so this is apparently a Starbucks medium roast, whole bean, 100% Arabica coffee contains Costa Rican and other Latin American coffees. Uh, says under Costa Rica, Latin American blend, just like the, uh, what was it, Brazil, I think I did recently from Starbucks. Whatever the last one was I did from Starbucks, that was that country and a blend, and they don't tell you how much of it is a blend. So I'm not 100% sure what's going on in here. Uh, they really don't specify. But there's stuff from Costa Rica and other Latin American countries in here. They have a description back here. It says, Paradise of stunning beaches, cascading waterfalls, and lush forests. Costa Rica is rich in biodiversity and recognized for cultivating high-quality coffees that flourish on the fertile volcanic slopes. To balance the vibrant notes and accentuate the brightness Costa Rican coffees contribute, we blended in beans from Latin America, creating this distinctly elegant cup with a soft, lemony sweetness and smooth cocoa texture. All right, well, let's take a look at the beans. If I can get this open. Jeez. All right, let me give you a close-up here of what these beans look like. All right, well, let's see what it smells like here in the bag. It's a big, bold, bright, even sweet mix of cocoa and orange peel. That's mostly what you get, chocolatey and orangey. Then I have another aroma that actually reminds me of a nice kind of fresh baked bread, but specifically pumpernickel. So that's all pretty interesting. Nice aromas. All right, well, let us brew some of this up. We're going to use the AeroPress today for that, and uh, we'll see what it smells and tastes like in liquid form. Okay, so we brewed up some of this Costa Rica with the AeroPress. Uh, let's see what it smells like here in liquid form. Interestingly enough, the first aroma I get is actually blueberry pie. I get a berry scent that reminds me specifically of blueberries, but I also get a nice kind of warm pie crust aroma, which obviously reminds me altogether of blueberry pie. There's a slight wet or damp earthy aroma. Then I have a kind of tangy, bright, uh, somewhat sweet, really faint aroma that's in the background that I've been trying to pick out. It's almost citrusy, but it's so faint that I can't really definitively say that it is. It literally kind of almost smells like tang, which I haven't had since I was a kid. But that orange powder crap that you would stir into water and it would become like fake orange juice, that's kind of what that last aroma is reminding me of. All right, well, let's see what it tastes like. It tastes like an interesting mix of bittersweet cocoa and saltine crackers. Kind of like a nice dark natural chocolate spread on a saltine. That's interesting. And I kind of have a heavy mineral rich earth flavor. Uh, don't take heavy negatively though. It's kind of thick and bold, uh, but really not overdone. And now I finally kind of get a little bit of citrus that they were talking about on the bag, but not as nice or clear as you would think. It kind of reminds me of diluted lemon juice. So it's like a really watery, kind of distant lemon flavor. It's not bad, but it doesn't exactly give you the excitement that 
Let me see, what the hell did they tell me over here? Oh no, they said soft lemony sweetness. That's not exactly sweet. It is soft though. Anyway, whatever. The point is there's a tiny bit of lemon in there. Really good balance between the flavors, minus the kind of mineral thing. Uh, that does kind of last on the palate longer, so I'd say that that's a little bit stronger than the other flavors I'm picking out. Other than that, though, all the flavors are pretty balanced. Body's very good. I'm really not getting any bitterness. Decent amount of complexity. Not a bad cup. Out of the three Starbucks coffees I did most recently, this being the third of the three, uh, this was probably the best of the three that were sent in. If we were talking one to ten, I'd give it maybe an eight and a half. Uh, other than the mineral finish, it rides out a little bit too long for me. I think overall this is a, a very nice coffee, kind of good medium flavors, meaning it's not too fruity, not too earthy. It's somewhere in that kind of nice middle ground where everybody could enjoy it. Aromas are really good. Like I said, no bitterness, very smooth, but you still get a lot of body. There's a lot of uh, good stuff about this coffee. So yeah, an eight and a half is what I'd give it out of 10. Not a bad coffee at all. If you've had it, leave a comment down below. Tell everybody what you thought of this coffee. And if you'd like to see a lot more videos on this channel, a lot more content, you'd like to help uh, move the situation along, as it were, there is a Should I Drink This Patreon page. The link is at the top of the video description. If you'd like to sign up there, you can get some cool rewards, uh, plus support the channel, which is nice. Share these videos with other coffee lovers, and I will see you at the next one.